As an analogy, just so people could understand like what this is actually equivalent to, what would that be the equivalent of a miner mining Bitcoin for? Because in a way, that's what MicroStrategy is doing. By selling those shares, what, what is the actual equivalent of like their cost basis on mining Bitcoin essentially with no overhead? The, the There, there is no comparison. What's there is no conceivable on planet Earth comparison between MicroStrategy and the miners. We, yeah. we, we, we <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on. We can speculate on this idea, but that an idea. An analogy. I'm not saying it's the equivalent of, but I am obviously. There's no miner yeah. that has no co overhead, right? So it, I'm not trying to say MicroStrategy is like a miner because I think miners are dogs. But well, I want. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't hold any money. I looked into money. I think it's a really bad investment unless you got an extremely, extremely early last cycle and you got lucky and just happened to pick the winner. But but my, I'm not saying MicroStrategy is anything comparable to a miner. But I do think like if you're able to mine Bitcoin right now at, at a crazy low level with no overhead. I mean, that's, that shows how much better it would be than, than the mining category is my point. I agree. I think it's you guys don't want to compare mining, it to that. That's it's fine. the cost of operations. It's the cost to run MicroStrategy as a company. Because as long as they can sell shares into the open market with a premium to their book value, they're increasing the number of Bitcoins they hold per share. Because if, the, if, the, if it's a three, yeah, I mean, if, you're, if, the, if it, there's a three uh, on, the, on the nav, right, that would be like mining Bitcoin at a third of the cost of, of the current uh, marketing exactly. costs with no overhead, right? That's that's just destroying exactly. any mining. Correct. So it'd be like mining. So if the if the NAVs at say two, you're mining Bitcoin right now at thirty five thousand, and that's all in cost. There's no other miner on the planet that I'm aware of that's doing that, unless they're like government subsidized or something. Yeah, I, I think I think that is a an analogous way to think about it. You can also think about their interest expense on any of the convertible debt as their kind of cost for acquisition on additional Bitcoin as well. Yeah.